remember the 29th of November. They do here. It's the last time Blackburn won a home game and the last time Leeds won an away game. Graham Souness makes four changes after the four-goal hiding at Liverpool. Lorenzo Amoruso partners Craig Short for the first time at the heart of the Blackburn defence. Recalls two for Lucas Neal, Stephen Reid and for Andy Cole. Just one alteration to the Leeds team that edged out Leicester last Monday night. Ian Hart is recalled at left back. Alan Smith is one card away from a suspension. It's not a day for putting out of tackles either. It's no secret who the highest earners are inside Ewood Park today. The ones who haven't paid to come in. It's the original six-pointer. And that will be the gap between the two teams if Blackburn win. If Leeds win, all that will separate them is Blackburn's superior goal difference. Unless Leeds win 11-0. Two guys seeking out Stead, who came of age this week, just 21. Turned away by Dominic Matteo, playing in the Leeds midfield today. And run away by Jermaine Pennant. Testing out Michael Gray. It's a really good run. And it needed the intervention of Reid. But Jermaine Pennant with an exhilarating burst, has forced a corner kick for Leeds United. Gary Kelly available for the quick one. Oh, it's in! Leeds United take the lead with Stephen Caldwell's first goal for the club. Inside of 90 seconds. was all but non-existent. Opening the scoring for Leeds United, number 15. Caldwell was unopposed. And the Scottish international on loan from Newcastle United has scored one of the most vital goals in Leeds United's recent history, and it could prove to be exactly the same for Blackburn Rovers. Russo with a free kick. Stead is stolen in front of Dubry, who had hands on his shoulders. And despite the furious Blackburn penalty protests, Steve Dunn says nothing doing. Stead stole the march there on Dubry, was all over him as they enter the penalty area and inside the box too. over Amoruso and it's bounced for Alan Smith oh he needed a good stop too by Friedel Alan Smith had the chance to take it on but was confident enough to let fly after Lorenzo Amoruso had completely misjudged the bounce and it was going in two guy Reed is there it's come for Stead it wouldn't come for Cole Caldwell saw to that Cole's little back head it was a very good effort by John Stead. Cleanly hit on the turn. It's all happened for Stead in the last couple of months. Elevation into the Premiership and the England under-21 team. Smith, Johnson, Pennant was on his way there. It's a fall for Johnson instead. Rode his luck a little. It's Seth Johnson! Well, Johnson scored twice in the opening half hour when Blackburn were at Ellen Road back in October and he hasn't scored for Leeds United since then six months on and a goal is overdue Maduka Smith he's made the space for himself he's got options either side it's Alan Smith he's looking to go it alone now he passes Milner he'll come for Pennant and behind Milner Milner must have thought that Alan Smith was never going to pass. When he did, it actually was a brilliant save by Friedel. He touched it under the bar. Either Viduka or Amaros 
also made contact initially, but Paduka has now. Whisker away. What a chance. Neither of them could deal with the first ball, but Paduka recovered the quicker. He has scored in his last three matches. He finished last season with a torrent of goals in the Leeds United course. Can Blackburn respond? On by their part-time centre-forward, Amoruso. Their full-time centre-forward, Andy Cole, keeps it in. Away by the goal scorer, Cornwall, though. Two guy. Came off Caldwell. It's come for Janssen. And this kick by Caldwell. Cole! Terrific stop by Robinson. Cole again. Headed away eventually by Caldwell. But what a response there by Paul Robinson. A chance that Andy Cole should never have been allowed. But it didn't surprise Robinson. He was hit full-blooded straight at him, in fairness. There's a feeling of despair around this ground. Good header by Matteo. Out as far as Neil. This time it's Kelly who clears, and Tennant can bring it clear. Skips away from Tugard. He's got three in support of him here, Jermaine Pennant. Pull back to Smith. And Vaduka! <laughs> Breathing space for Leeds United. Despair for Blackburn Rovers. As Mark Vaduka seals their fate today. And how big a say in the eventual so fate of Blackburn and Leeds will that moment have. Smith almost scored with the audacious back heel. Mark Faduka for the fourth game running, did find the back of the net. And Leeds United in the closing moments have claimed victory for the second time this week over fellow strugglers. And the three-point gap between these two teams at the start of play is about to disappear. Two guys. Headed by Caldwell. Amoruso keeping the move alive, keeping the hope alive. This is Gallagher. Free kick has been given. But we have played three of the four added minutes. Gallagher's free kick. It's a free header for short. They are short on time, that's for short. But Craig Short's goal, his first for well over a year, has given Blackburn Rovers a glimmer of hope. For Blackburn Rovers, Craig he was Short. Absolutely unmarked. But has it come too late? You fancy so.